everybody today we are going to be um reviewing a 2015 acura mdx um as you can see i have a bullet in my garage here like always this is like forever the location <laughs> um unless we move which i doubt we will um but yeah 2015 acura mdx this is the sh all-wheel drive model i'm pretty sure it's the if not, if it's not the top of the line, I think it's um, one below the top of the line. I feel like there's a couple more features um, that's missing out of this car, but maybe not. I could be wrong about that. I don't know very much about Acura, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Um, but yes, this is my uncle's here. We've had it for about a week because he went um, on a work trip in Arizona. So this has basically been our car. Um, it's been nice to have two cars for once because we haven't ever had two cars in in my little family here, like, we've always had one, and it's always been very difficult. But, as time moves on, we're looking very, very closely to getting another, a second vehicle, because we need one. So, um, oh crap, I should have showed you. As you can see here, um, let me go back up here. Okay, so, this is about, I raised the seat almost all the way up, and then, hold on, let me raise it up a little more. Yeah, there we go push this down. This is about my seating position here. I'm about 5'10", and then steering wheel goes down to, so I'm put, I go a little further back here. Okay, so this is about my seating position, maybe a little further back, um, but when I drive, this is my seating position. Um, my uncle has two keys for this car, um, and both of them are set for his seating position, <laughs> which is very annoying. So whenever we unlock the car, it goes to his original seat position. Which is great, I mean, you know, but it's obviously, it's kind of annoying for us, but it's on our car. Um, so, I'll show you what happens. So, first of all, when you come up to the car, let me lock it real quick. You just press this black button here. There you go. Puddle lamps and your um, lights come on. They'll go off in about 30 seconds. So, when you come up to the car here, you'll get your hand over any of the four door handles. It unlocks. Here you go. Here goes the memory seat retracting if you can tell there you go see Let me, yeah there you go so it retracts to his original position he sits far back um and that's because he has his seat set <laughs> but anyway um so over here we just have our power locks door handles everything like that um we have our memory settings we have our power mirrors we have our um rear trunk um opener here and then we have our gas cap opener um Ooh, I have to sneeze, I'm sorry. Um, over here we have our, you know, various seat controls and lumbar. Um, let's go over here. See, look, here's a blank switch. I know, I knew who's missing something. Um, I don't know what this is. I want to say this has something to do with the all-wheel drive system. Again, I don't know very much about Acuras. Um, uh, but um, here's a steering wheel here. Um, got just your main controls, radio controls, everything. Trying to block out that sun so you can see better. My goodness. So his car has about 50,000 miles on it. Um, he bought it in 2017 with only 15,000 miles on it. So even though it's still low miles, he still um, has put a lot of miles on it. Um, here's this red engine start stop button, which I don't care for. I wish it was just kind of like a, I don't know, a different color. It doesn't look good to me. You just have your regular shifter here, IDS. Um, shoot, I couldn't even tell you what that does. I don't know. I don't touch around with stuff in people's cars that aren't ours. <laughs> So, just FYI. But anyway, here you have your cup holders, change holder, power outlet. Have your system. Oh, God, there's a wasp in this car. Jesus. Ooh, let me close the door. Oh, God, the wasp flew in my garage and almost flew in the car. Okay, so over here we have our two entertainment screens. Down here is mainly the radio screen. Up here is a multifunction screen. Climate control. Um, before I start up the car, we'll just go through everything. Um, this little thing here moves forward and back have his junk down here let's move this out the way towels clean them with got this first storage cubby here second storage cubby here with more his junk all right um glove box it's damped um i mean it's a decent size um let's see we have our power sunroof sunglass holder which is something our cadillac doesn't have which is ridiculous um, home link, which is also something our Cadillac doesn't have, which is ridiculous. Jesus, that wasp is still flying in my garage. Okay. <laughs> um, again, this is not a panoramic sunroof. You can see my garage door opener. <laughs> this is not a panoramic sunroof. This is just a regular, um, single, I don't know, sunroof, I guess you'd call it. 
um, let's go ahead and turn it on accessory mode here. Um, it's going to come up here and tell me to put my foot on the brake to start the car. Um, let me move up the seat all the way. Jesus, it's like the furthest back ever. Okay, so it tells you we're in accessory mode here. Again, over here, this is your media screen up here. Woo, up here. Can I help that at all? Can I help this? No, I can't. Up here is your nav screen. Um, I should have parked this the regular way. Uh, I didn't really realize it would just be, you know, like this. Up here is your nav screen. Um, nothing right home about. Honestly, it's really outdated. Even for 2015, it looks very, very outdated. Um, but yeah. So I don't want to show you too much of it because you'll find out where I live. <laughs> um, over here is your media. Let's turn that down. He has XM. He has an XM subscription, so that's great. Um, something that we're looking into currently. Um, again, you got your nav button. You got your phone button. No phone connected. His phone's connected, though, when he gets home. Info. You got your audio button, which just goes over here to your kind of like your presets. It's kind of a repeat of what this is down here. Um, you got your back button, your lighting controls, your settings, and your menu here. Here's your settings. Whoops. And then this is your menu. But anyway, let's turn that off of navigation. All right, so let's go ahead and start the car. So you put your foot on the brake, press the start here. As you can hear, it starts right up. Okay, let's turn the air down here. Um, once the screen comes up, that is one of my, let's see, probably my mom's biggest pet peeve in this car. Of course it's not hers. So, but, um, you have to, you control the fan speed through the entertainment system, which I guess she doesn't like. Um, I can see where it can get in the way too. Like it's kind of annoying. Sometimes you have to go through the screen, press this, everything. I don't know. Maybe we're just all old, <laughs> but, um, you do have your temperature controls here on the side. Um, it's kind of like, it's okay. It's kind of laggy to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just the interface. Heated seats, no cooled seats. I don't know if Acura, um, you know, if they have cooled seats, but this car doesn't. Um, you got your zone controls, which is something else you have to go through the screen. You got your recirculate, your rear AC, which let's turn that on. Um, why is this man going across my driveway? Move. Thank you. Yeah, don't look at me like that. Sorry, some freaking freaking neighbor. Okay, um, <laughs> oh, that's gonna be too much. Let's turn that off, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's kinda, it's a weird system. It's not like clunky, but it's not the greatest. I feel like our Cadillac Q system is better. That I may be just biased, so who knows. Um, but anyway, you can use this knob here for multiple things right now. You can use it to, um, oof, that light. You can use it to zoom in on the nav. Again, his car just crossed 50,000 miles when he brought it to us. And as you can see, we put uh, 400 miles on it using it. Because uh, no car that sits in our driveway or our garage is going to, you know, just sit there. Um, so he needs to get an oil change. That's all. I mean, maintenance do. All these people try to make it sound like it's like some big deal. No, it's just a service that needs to be done to the car. Nothing big at all oil change probably about fifty dollars at acura i don't know i know when we go to cadillac our oil changes are about 50 bucks 60 bucks excuse me 60 bucks but yeah so he's coming home tomorrow so we won't drive the car that much till he can get home and change it because we don't want to damage his car um but here's your just like your very very tiny um screen here that i'm controlling with this little roller dial here tire pressure all just the main car stuff nothing really i mean nothing really to write home about here um but yeah anyway this car is all wheel drive the only button to control that through here is right here um i assume i mean there's nothing too too spectacular about it um but yeah i think we'll turn off the car and go to the rear here see you can see that tilt and telescoping steering wheel working oh god okay also, that big box is our dishwasher. Yay. <laughs> just hadn't had the, oh God, just hadn't had the person install it yet. So, but anyway, um, back here, same thing, um, same materials. Um, they're all fairly decent. Um, back here, you got your rear climate for your rear passengers, um, your rear vents, and then that's your little screen here. And then a little storage cubby. Ugh. In here, you can see my brother's been riding in here. So he has his little, booster seat you got two cup holders nothing 
fancy. Um, you can press this button here and the seat will slide forward and back so you can get into the third row. So when you press that button, that's what the seat does. Um, third row, um, I might move these boxes out the way. Yeah, I think I will. So third row, we haven't used the third row at all. Ah, all right, there we go. Now you guys can see. Um, we haven't used the third row at all because we're only a family of four. So, I mean, there's no reason to. Um, quite small, I would say. So this is the seat in its regular position. Ah, excuse me, my allergies. Um, and I mean, not the biggest amount of room, hopefully you can see back there, but I mean, not the, just, you know, nothing super, super big, but that's what happens when you get a crossover and not a minivan or a huge SUV. Um, we're going to throw that seat back down here. Um, back here, I'm trying not to so show the license plate too much. I don't know how successful I'll be, but, um, back here you have your trunk release. Your backup camera, God, okay, I'm just gonna show the license plate. Don't Google where we live. <laughs> here is, is the camera, the um, trunk popper here, and then this is your, you have a lock button down here that you can lock the car with. So press that button, we have automatic tailgate, something else we don't have in our Cadillac. All right. Um, you got a power outlet back here. To put the seat down, you just push this and boom, there's your seat. So let's go back here and um, ah, put this back. This is a lot easier um, to do, I would say. Come on, there we go. This is a lot easier to do than in most crossovers, I would say. Um, my great-grandmother used to have a Ford Explorer. It was kind of a difficult process, and then my grandma still has a 2014 Chevy Traverse, and it's like the world's di most difficult um, tumble seat. I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. No, not really. My grandma called me. You know I gotta talk to grandma. Uh, <laughs> um, the traversal seats are the hardest. These are probably the easiest seats, I would say. But um, here we go. Here we've got a little trunk button. I also think I failed to show you guys the key. Here's the key. Um, no remote start. Um, of course, you got push button start. But I don't know if that was an option um, on a higher package or model or what. But anyway, we'll just come to this side real quick. Same thing as the other. Why are all these noises happening? Okay, same thing as the other here. Nothing important, I already showed you the seats. Go over here. Something I failed to mention also was the blind spot monitoring, monitoring system. Um, right here, indicator, it'll pop up every single time a car is in your blind spot, um, which is great. Um, and uh, it'll beep at you if you have your blinker on it and it thinks you're trying to get into that other lane, it'll beep at you and tell you to stop, because <laughs> you might be cutting somebody off. Um, but yeah, but anyway, um, power door locks and um, window here. Um, nothing else important. Of course, you got your seat controls down here. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Excuse the glare. Um, but I thought it'd be better if I backed the car into the garage, and obviously it wasn't a good decision. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video of the 2015 Acura MDX SH all-wheel drive. See you next time. Bye.